We know about this holiday nightmare for both travelers and Southwest Airlines. The major airline continuing to cancel thousands of more flights today. Fox 9's Bill Keller is live at MSP this morning with the very latest. So, Bill, how have you seen things change over the hours you've been on this morning? Well, it is quiet, Alex, and that is not a good thing. It means there are, there's not much going on here. In fact, the news is not good. 2,600 flights canceled by Southwest Airlines yesterday. Another 3,900 more flights canceled over the next two days. And while most of the U.S. airlines have recovered from the winter storm that caused so many problems, Southwest still picking up the pieces. In fact, when we looked at the airline's entire flight schedule in and out of MSP, we only saw one flight that was running on time. It was an incoming flight from the East Coast in Baltimore. The company's CEO says the airline is working to restore its operational schedule, which does not work like other airlines. In fact, in a video statement, Bob Jordan apologized not only to his customers, but his employees, admitting that many travelers will not be able to get another flight until next week. Our plan for the next few days is to fly a reduced schedule and reposition our people and planes, and we're making headway, and we're optimistic to be back on track before next week. Yeah, while Southwest says it will take a while to get back on track, many stranded passengers have been forced to rebook on other airlines. That is not cheap. Sun Country, by the way, they were busy this morning, a full schedule, mostly on-time flights. But one passenger says the Southwest meltdown almost caused her brother to miss their flight to Mexico. Craziness. He was on Southwest and got delayed like seven hours last night from Denver. It's quite a mess, but I'm happy to be on an airline that's going to get me there safe and efficiently. Yeah, her family, by the way, was lucky that their vacation was not ruined. But uh, for every canceled flight, there is, of course, countless stories of a holiday gone wrong and some customer service nightmares. In fact, the Biden administration vowing to hold the airline accountable. An investigation now underway by the U.S. Department of Transportation. In fact, they want to see if these delays, all these cancellations with Southwest Airlines, uh, it has them still living up to their responsibility, their obligations to all those stranded passengers. Are they making those customers whole? Those we talk to say no, uh, but it is still going to take some time before this puzzle all gets put back together. I think there are still a few missing pieces as I look at it. Back to you. Right. I'm sure a lot of pastors would like to see uh, somebody being held accountable for this problem. Thank you, Bill. Well, travelers at MSP tell us that they've been through the ringer and they've been back uh, trying to get to their destinations this week. Some going to the airport not to catch a flight, but to stand in line at the southwest corner. One told us uh, Southwest was finally able to rebook his flight on a Delta flight. But between missing work and trying to figure out how he'll get home, it's been a stressful week. Southwest wasn't answering the, the phones. I was getting busy signals. So I decided to drive to the airport and get in line. Um, I waited almost two hours to get to the counter. So if your flight was canceled, know your rights. Most airlines will rebook you for free on the next flight as long as there are seats. But if you want to cancel, you're entitled to a full refund. Consumer advocates say generally the most reliable flights are nonstop and morning flights.